we are breaking all of our travel rules. Rule number one is no backtracking. Rule number two is no cold weather. And currently, it's cold. We are northbound. We're heading to Georgia. Georgia! Yeah, yo! to head northbound for a little bit to Georgia and break all our rules as I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. FYI, we are living in a motocross track right now, so forgive the background noise. We're heading north to go meet Lacey and Dalton. There's no privacy. Oh my lord, life on the road. Oh my lord, that's all I'm gonna say. We met Lacey last year. What was supposed to go down is that we were gonna have a girls ride day, Ratchet Society, Girls Ride North Carolina. We were gonna meet up, have a ride day. Lacey's like, hey, y'all should come out to our farm and come ride. Thank goodness she did. Our ride day actually ended up getting canceled. So we didn't have a ride day, but we got to ride and hang out all weekend last year with Lacey and Dalton. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Hi. We had so much fun with them. So anytime that we head south or we're heading north and passing through North Carolina, we make it a point to stop and see them. So we went and saw them in uh, November as we headed south and then they said that they were going to be going to Durham Town. So we decided, let's do it. So there is a lot going on here. I, I'll take you on a tour, but there's there's a lot. Right here we've got the Pee Wee track, which is actually a pretty sweet beginner track. This track here is what they call MX1. And then here we've got MX2. We'll go check that out. Over here we have the legit Pee Wee track. And then over there, there's a supercross track. There's a side by side drag strip. I mean, the place is just huge. got Adam going out in the woods today. Rare sighting. He might get dirty.
I'm gonna take a nap for a shower tonight. Today, yeah. Those girls are savages. I'm done. I am tired. They rode like an hour and a half before we rode, and then we did like I don't know three plus hour ride and then they went back out and I'm just like give me my little space heater and my hot chocolate please. Our first day of riding was a blast. I felt really proud of myself because I had never ridden in trails before. So this was the first time riding in trails. Not only riding in trails but the first time riding in like slick mud. Uh, first time riding through ruts. It was fun. It was different. It was a different challenge. We rode for about three hours and then me and my husband were done. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go back. And I'm like, count me in. Not that it wasn't fun, but my lower back was so exhausted. I've never ridden that long. So my body was just a little tired and uh, my bum was a little sore. So I was ready, ready for a break. See, I can't balance like that. I can't ride. I tried a paddleboard and almost killed myself. I have to sit down on the paddleboard. Drinking and wheeling? Yeah. I don't remember her going faster than me at all. But she was. really tight trail That's awesome. It was too much. We went back. I started from my old buddies, you call them. She was going towards the woods and she just stopped. And she was like looking at her bike. <laughs> I was just what just happened? I was, told you that when in doubt throttle out thing is not always well, good. Well, I think that I was I just gripping she, anything yeah. that I possibly could and it just happened to be the throttle. I hate people like that. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. You're so coordinated. It is really awkward. You know, until you get off the path fault. <laughs> Oh, just oh, you're stop. gonna burn out. You're burn out right there. <laughs> to stop. That's, you yeah. stop. Yeah, it That's the bad. hardest part. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's not on there. I thought he was riding away. I was like, what the heck? I ain't got no gas. So I don't know why. I'm not the savior. If I were you were coming to our rescue. If I drop my helmet in this place. Yeah, you drop your helmet right now. It's, <laughs> it's going in the water.
We just thought it was such a beautiful place to just relax and have some quiet time uh -huh. together. Uh -huh. So um, that's what we're doing. We're just hanging out and enjoying God's nature. Did you forget something this morning? Well, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I got gas. I'll see you later. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we can use that water bottle to like squeeze you some gas out of yours and then squeeze you back in mine. Oh, yeah? I, I was just kind of thinking that. Nope. Look like I got fuel. No, but Dalton said you had a little thing. <laughs> Megan told me that. Guess <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. who also ran out? Who? Meg. Meg. <laughs> uh, right beside the peewee track. She pushed her bike almost all the way to the camper. Had no idea how to put it on reserve. I feel like we have failed. Word for <laughs> word, Adam said. <laughs> on the way over here, I was thinking. So there's going to be no more me putting gas in Megan's bike from now on. No, I'll take the no. blame for this one. We, here we've on had out. gas because if she screws up an oil change, you can blow up the bike. Well, I just told her, before every ride, lube your chain, put gas in it. Put spray down. Because we rode all day long. And I filled both bikes up that morning. Up. Yeah, that on this side. Right. She so the line. Uh -huh. right. You always need to make sure you got fuel on this side. She never ran out. She ran low. Lacey! Adventures with Lacey, tree, part two. Lacey, that's a plug before we even get down the hill. I have to interject real quick because Adventures with Lacey did not end there. Not get it on video because we were all gearing to go, phones were put away, and we were about to hit the trail. What happened next though? Lacey gets gas on her bike. Lacey swings her leg over the bike. Lacey's boot gets stuck on her kickstart. Lacey's sitting at the edge of the river, right there. Lacey's foot is stuck. She tips over, bike falls right towards the river. I screamed because I was legit scared and I can only laugh about this now because she, she was fine. Bike falls towards the river. Lacey falls towards the river. Leg swings over the bike. She's falling down the bank, grabs the seat, like the plastics of her bike, and is freaking dangling over that river. <gasps> Can't even make this up. So she's hanging there. She's so lucky that small tree that you see there, that small tree saved her life and her bike from going in the river. Brandon jumps up, grabs the bike from falling down the bank. Lazy <laughs> CrossFit pull-ups herself up the bank. Saves it. That was a magical moment right there. <laughs> some time and I think like we need we need more of these trips we need more of these trips as like a whole as a community because getting together seeing girls like get out there for the first time and ride having like the guys help the girls was so awesome like following other people seeing what's possible seeing somebody go through something and you're like oh she did it I can do it seeing the progress that we've all made over the last year or two is a really good feeling and just getting out on different terrain is really good and so this was a really fun opportunity to be like damn like i went i went like 40 to 50 miles an hour like that was awesome that was fun and 